Hey everybody, so I want to write a screenplay, and I know the first part's a slug line, and that's usually uh, bolded and interior. Uh, it's got to be all capital letters. Interior, uh, and let's say it's in the computer lab, and it's uh, 2 o'clock p.m. Okay, and now I need to write the action. Oh, but the action's not bolded. Um, so I start writing the action, and then I want to do a character, but I need to know what the character is. So, oh, I, I, I know there's spacing things. So I got to look up the spacing for a character. And oh, here it is. So the character needs to be 4.2 inches from the edge. So I got to go over here to view and uh, the, uh, rulers. And then I need to make a tab that's like 4.2 inches from the side. So here's 0, 1, 2. You know, 4.2, wouldn't it be easier if there was a program that did this for me? Hey everyone, today we're gonna to talk about script writing software. Now we're not talking about any particular program. Uh, we're just talking about what is the purpose of script writing software. So before you make a video, it's always a good idea to write a script or a screenplay. That way you know what all your characters are gonna say before they get in front of the camera. So most script screenplays start with a slug line and then there's an action and then characters and dialogue and there's a lot to remember with like spacing and where things go. Screenwriting software streamlines that whole process so that you don't have to worry about all the specifics. Let's take a look at how this works. Now I'm using something called Celtex because I'm on a Mac and it's free and I'm cheap and I don't want to buy anything. If I were on Windows, I'd probably use a program called Trelby. Uh, there's other ones you can pay for. Adobe makes one. There's a lot of different options out there, uh, but they all kind of do the same thing. They make script writing easier. So let's start with the slug line. And you know, it's a scene heading, slug line, same thing. Uh, and you can see up here, it's telling me I'm writing in the scene heading or the slug line. So I'm gonna say, okay, are my characters inside or outside? I'm gonna say they are inside. And in fact, they are in a computer lab and it is morning. Notice that the program is doing all of the work for me, it's doing the capitalization, it's doing the spacing. So when I hit enter, you'll notice now I'm in the action setting. It tells me I'm in action right here. And this is the part of the script where I explain what's going on. So students are busy typing at their computers. Uh, they are chatting about their lives and the lights go out. So when I hit enter again, and now I hit tab, you'll notice I'm now in the character section. I don't have to worry about where the character's supposed to go on the page because it does it for me and you'll see when I type the character name, it just puts it in the right spacing. And then when I hit enter again, I'm ready for my dialogue. It automatically puts me in the right space for dialogue. Notice I'm not hitting the space bar a bunch of times. I'm not hitting the tab a bunch of times to get it to the right spacing. It's doing it for me. So Mr. Corwin says, what is happening? Uh, and I hit enter it again automatically put it in the right spot. I'm gonna say the next character's name is Jose. Uh, the lights went out. And I hit enter again, and when I start typing the next name, notice it automatically puts it in there for me. And I just hit enter and it automatically fills that out. And I'm gonna hit enter, but here's the thing. I don't, I'm gonna be sarcastic here. So to make it apparent that I'm being sarcastic, I'm gonna add a parenthetical. So I hit tab, notice it automatically put it in parenthetical. I just hit the tab key. Um, I'm just gonna put here sarcastically. 
uh, just so I know that when this character reads it, they're going to be sarcastic. Really? I hadn't noticed. So the whole purpose of uh, screenwriting software is to make the script writing process easier for you. So you don't have to worry about spacing. You don't have to worry about all that stuff. It does it for you. So hopefully you found that helpful. If you did, please consider hitting like and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Mr. J Corwin. If you need help with anything you saw here, you can tweet at me or you can leave it in the comments below. I'll try to help you out. And as always, thanks for watching.